I consider myself extremely lucky. I get to play guitar a lot. I spend a lot of time around guitars, but I end up playing the same stuff over and over again, the same licks, the same riffs, and I don't really progress as a player, and I end up kind of frustrated. I know the way to relieve that frustration and to improve as a guitar player, to get out of that rut, is to find the areas of my playing that need work on, figure out a practice schedule that addresses those areas, and then simply do it. But I also know myself, and I know that some days that it isn't as simple as it sounds. In this video, I'm gonna bring you five tricks to get yourself playing, to push that motivation on those days you just don't feel like it, but you know you should. And I'm gonna do that with the help of my favorite practice amp, the Spark from Positive Grid. Almost more important than the size and the weight and the price and even the sounds, the Spark has some features that are dedicated to helping you practice more and therefore making you a better guitar player. It worked for me and that's why I'm very happy to say that Positive Grid have sponsored this video. It's the one I used, it's the one that makes me better. That's why it's in this video. Okay, on to the first of the five ways to make practicing more interesting and to trick your brain into making you a better guitar player. The first tip is almost stupidly simple, and it works. It's something I picked up from a friend of mine who is massively into running. She loves running, it's her favorite thing to do, but sometimes on those cold and wet and windy days, she lacks the spark of motivation to actually get out there doing the things she loves. So she has a special trick. Instead of deciding to go for a run, she decides to put on her running shoes and her running gear, and then she decides to step outside. And then once she's outside, she figures, well, I may as well warm up a little bit. And then when she's warmed up, the next thing you know, she's started running and she's out there doing the thing that she loves, even though it's cold and wet and windy. So if you're lacking motivation, instead of saying, I'm gonna sit here for half an hour and practice my structured schedule, I'm just gonna plug my guitar in and I'm going to tune it. So you pick up your guitar, you plug it in, and you say to yourself, I'm just gonna tune it. That's all I'm gonna do. I haven't got time to practice, so I'm gonna put the tuner on, tune the guitar, and that's it. Then you have your tuned guitar. You might as well play a few notes. And then next thing you know, you think, well, I'm here now, I might as well play a scale. And then you've taken those first steps. And as you've played that scale, you may as well continue with the rest of your practice routine, whatever it may be. And you've successfully tricked yourself into practicing. Congratulations. Number two, get a rhythm. Okay, so you've plugged in and you, maybe you're still not motivated. So how do you trick yourself to take the next step? Well, the next step probably should be warming up with some kind of finger exercises, such as this one. Now you may already know that playing those finger exercises with a metronome is far more beneficial than without. However, more fun than a metronome is playing it with a drum track, which you can do with the Spark. To get the drum track going, connect your Spark to your phone with the Spark app, go to the music section, and I'm gonna use one of the smart jams, one of the already created tracks, and there it is already, it's already playing. So I'm gonna pause that for a second, pick up my guitar, and then here's the finger exercise on its own. Boring, and then I'm gonna press play on the drums. So, we're already making practice more interesting, more exciting, therefore more likely to do it. Building on that idea of practicing finger exercises with a drum track, how about making music with your scales? If you're just practicing a series of notes, then you're getting that physical workout, you're getting the, the movements that your hands need, but it can become rather monotonous and rather boring. What if you could make music whilst practicing your scales? Well, here's the next trick for you. Back to the Spark app, back to the music tab, back to that pop track I created. 
Now, in this track, you can go to the settings and enable a bass guitar. So you might notice that these chords I've got are in the key of G major. So I could practice my G major scale over this backing track with drums and a bass guitar, turning my G major scale into a piece of music. Actually, for the purpose of the video, I'm going to slow it down a little bit, which you can do because it's a MIDI track by doing that and then swiping back to the beginning. And here we go. There we go, we've tricked ourselves again. We're playing a scale, but it feels like we're playing music. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Let's do another one. Trick number four is about keeping it fresh to increase your attention span. Now my attention span is fairly low. So when I'm trying to learn a lick or riff, I can find that I get bored or distracted easily before that lick or riff is written into my brain's memory. That's a big mistake. I've even just changed camera angle purely to keep your attention span satisfied. Now we'll go back to the other one. So something in the video changed there that satisfied your need to click away. And we can apply that to our guitar practice. If we're learning a blues riff in E, for example, what I do is start off with a clean sound and then switch that to a crunch sound or then something with some phaser or modulation just so that my ear is more interested and therefore I'm more likely to keep playing that thing until my muscle memory has locked it in. I'll show you. So back to the app blues track in E. See, I already got a little bored then and played an extra note I wasn't supposed to play. What I'm gonna do is go to the app, change the sound, uh, by doing that, go to the crunch, and now I've got a crunch sound, which means that I can play that riff, hopefully for longer, without getting bored. So you get the idea. I'm, my fingers are still doing exactly the same thing, it's just it sounds different. Therefore, my brain thinks that I'm doing something completely new and fresh. That's one of my favorite tricks. Trick number five is to record yourself and then reward yourself. If you can prove to yourself that you're getting better and that practice is the reason you're getting better, then it's logical that you'll want to practice more. The best way to do this is to record yourself with your phone because it doesn't have to be a high quality studio recording. It just has to be something that you can refer back to so you can see if you're getting better. Now, of course, you can just record yourself on the standard camera app that came with your phone, but in the Spark app is a camera so you can collect those recordings and control your Spark at the same time. Hello, so I'm here now and I can add some music. I can go to the Smart Jam and I can do that. So now it's loaded that track, I can press this, it'll count down and then count me into the track. Then you have a finished video file which you can use for reference or even post to social media so that you can enjoy gaining millions of followers daily and um, and that could be your reward or indeed find something that, you know, set yourself a goal and then reward yourself when you achieve that goal. So if there's a new pedal or something you're waiting for, wait a little bit longer until you've achieved that goal and I promise you it'll be a lot more rewarding when you do. Although. I find that hard. <laughs> so those are my five ways to trick yourself to being a better guitar practicer and therefore a better guitar player. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope that at least one of those has triggered a response from you. Maybe, maybe there's some that you know that I haven't mentioned. So leave them in the comments section below and we can possibly make a part two. 
This is the end of the video, which means that you are now officially in the end of the video club. And to prove that you've seen this part of the video, when you do leave a comment down below, please include the phrase, I saw sparks. And that'll let me know that you did indeed watch this part. A big thanks to Positive Grid for sponsoring this video. There's more information on them and the spark in the video description down below. There's also more videos from me if you fancy that, or a massive subscribe button that you could smash heavily. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.